All right. So you guys wanted to know. Yes. The origin of Final Fire 64? Yes. All right. So to preface, the 64 really doesn't have much in the way of importance. It's something I've had all, all my life when I'm I was using online like names. Mario 64. Yeah. I ha my first console was a 64, so that's a given. Yeah. Okay. That what makes it sense. is. Uh, the final fire part. Uh, about grade ten ish. Uh, maybe maybe eleven ish. I was in a really dark place mentally. Uh, and I was extremely suicidal. Not not outwardly as of that point just yet. Um. And I actually went to go look on forums to figure out, I guess, ways to do it, to 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 commit to the deed, I guess. Uh, and I used the name Final Fire, uh, and kind of how do I put it? Like it's like the Final Fire that's gonna like flicker out or something. Base basically, <laughs> yeah. That's 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 the probably the best way to put that is like it's 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 on like my last candle burning kind of thing and yeah. i've i've yeah, yeah. and as as dark as that is i i kind of kept it uh just in in a way to show myself it's like oh uh you managed to overcome that and you can use that kind of and in retrospect, it kind of sounds cool. Final Fire, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah, I I think it looks, sounds very yeah, cool. Yeah, it actually sounds really cool, especially with, like, your avatar. Kind of just, like, you know, matches. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know, that, that mainly matches with, like, your hair. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I keep it as kind of, like, a, a show of kind of as a respect to myself. Like, hey, this this is, like, what what you went through. <laughs> You overcame this, and you can use it as a reminder to to myself to to keep helping others, and that's one one of the reasons why uh, my my stream is such a proponent towards mental health and whatnot is because I don't want other people to suffer like that. I know I know there are friends, there are people watching uh, who have dark places in their mind, and I want to like kind of foster that to make sure that because I'll, I'll be honest i did try several times I, I i was not always successful in trying to keep the darkness down um but i did overcome it with other people's help and i know there's always this mental health stigma even even if it's becoming more and more popular to talk about it i know there's always a stigma about it and that's that's again that's one of the reasons why i'm i'm so mental health centric around this around this i guess hmm. i don't well i think that is very cool and i'm very glad you overcame that because it's um well i would say it's very inspirational because like other people obviously who are going through that they can see that you know you like can push past it yeah yeah so thank you for sharing I actually like i really like that thank you for sharing that with us no worries yeah, it's an uh, interesting and backstory, and I'm glad you, you know, overcame that, because usually it's really hard, and I guess it teaches others, obviously, as Ali said, that they could do that, too, even though it's really hard, like, you could do it. Um, on the topic of uh, mental health, I'm part of the uh, student senate for the school board that I'm not going to say the name of, because of that's totally going to dox me, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I'm part yeah. of the, the senate, um, and basically... Uh, my whole goal, because I just joined it like this year, so they don't really know me yet, but uh, my whole goal, and I explained it in my application, is that I want to make a big push for mental health adv uh, advocation, I guess, Yeah. Uh, with uh, implementing like mental health days for students, because a lot of people like don't understand that like they can take a break because they feel 